Tanis Jackson, a former student of the St. Andrew High School for Girls, left for work 7 o'clock on Wednesday. However, her family said this was the last time they saw her. They're appealing to the Jamaican audience to please bring Tanis home. Time is of the essence. 20-year-old Kenneth Jackson of Manchester Avenue, Independence City, Portmore, left for work at 7 Wednesday morning. Her mother, Eunice Chambers, did not know that was the last time that she would hear from her only child. She went to the bus stop to get her bus to work. And I didn't hear anything else until our workplace call and said, she haven't come to work. This is the first time. And so I know something is wrong. This, this never happened before. Somebody have her out there. Somebody have her. I just want her home. Begging who have her to let her go, let she come home. The family tearfully recalls the last moments of Canice. Her boyfriend says when he called her phone, it was answered. Someone answered. But I didn't want to spook the person, so I didn't say anything, so I listened very keenly. I was hoping to hear Connie's voice, so I could ask her where she was. Distinctively hear a male voice in the back. Wednesday was the first she did not turn up. The family voiced that though they filed a missing persons report, the police seemed laid back in getting to the meat of the matter. That's whoever you are, I just need Connie's home safe. I plead in tear, whoever you are, please, please. Please, don't deserve this. The family says the alleged ring marole in starting an investigation is causing them to lose precious time. Paige Dixon, CVM Live.